welcome back to my channel as you guys know today we're doing a paint with me this is how my set started out and this is currently how my set is looking she honestly looks like she's in really great shape thus far i'm so sad to see it go this has been one of my favorites i do have some light staining throughout this set but it's nothing that a new set can't help us fix so i'm going to soak these off and i will come back to you guys when it's time to paint all right, so for this set today, we're actually going to be doing two different shapes. On my left hand, I have medium square, and then on my right, I have medium stiletto, and I'm honestly obsessed with the two different shapes. I think the set is going to be awesome, and I can't wait to start. Going into our colors today, I'm going to be using a lot of shades by OPI, so I have some Alpine Snow as well as I'm So Swamp Petty. And then next I have Tiramisu for two and Black Onyx. I'm gonna list all my colors down below just because, you know, there's some that we just didn't include, but yeah, let's get to painting. So to start off, I did one coat of different like nails for different colors. Um, I just wanted to this hand to really be playful, so that's why pretty much every nail has a different vibe. All right, guys, and then I went in with another layer of our colors. Um, I want to say total, I did like three to four coats. So yeah, just keep on layering until you can't see through it. Next, on my pinky, I went in with my Mixed Metals OPI Chrome Effects. Um, I absolutely love this against black polish. I think it's just so whimsical and like iridescent. So yeah, um, you just kind of want to go in with like a little swab and just rub it in to the polish and it gives you this really cool effect. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Apray Gel X top coat, um, just to kind of create a slip barrier layer between um, what I've already done for nail art and what I'm gonna do next for nail art. Then I went in with my CND glitter polish. Um, I wanna say it is in, it's ice vapor. Um, and I just kind of created this nice little rainbow vibe. I swung in line by line, going in and sketching out my rainbow lines. Next, I finished it out by making little clouds on my rainbow, and then I followed that by starting out my four-leaf clover on my thumb. Um, I just thought it was easier to go in color by color since I, that was like the only color I was putting on. Not gonna lie, guys, I did actually mess up on my four-leaf clover, but I redid it over, and then um, I honestly wanted to bling it out, so I have these green caviar beads and Swarovskis, and um, my... Um, a prey top coat and I just went in and just 
filled it in to my liking and overall I'm pretty happy with how all the stones are sitting. Next, I moved on to my Lucky Freehand. Um, I just kind of freehanded it out and then it kind of turned into this like Lucky 70s vibe, which I really dig. Now that my left hand's complete, I'm just gonna go in with my top coat and then prep and prime my right hand and I will come back and paint my right hand. For my right hand, I actually went in with my NVV Adventure by OPI. I absolutely love this shade. Um, in total, I want to say I did about four to five like layers of this color just to really give it that nice, nice dark green vibe and honestly, obsessed. Next, I wanted to bling it out, so I actually kind of did a layer of my matte top coat, and then I went in with my caviar beads and my Swarovskis. Um, for my beads, I wanted to put them in a circular pattern. So if you see here, I'm actually starting out by dabbing a little dot, and then I go in with my stone and then fill it out with my caviar beads. I know it's not the best angle. Sorry, guys. I'm working on it. For this stonework, it was a lot of precision, so that's why you see me always like pulling my hand towards me. I am trying to get better about that. Just please be patient with me, guys. All right, guys, so both of my hands are all painted. I'm just gonna do one more layer of top coat and I will come to you guys with the final reveal. And here you guys have it, the final result of my St. Patty's Day themed nails. Thank you guys for joining me in this paint with me and I will see you in my next one.